So it's still installing the SQL. At least it was completed, right? Almost. No, no, right? No, it got crashed actually my machine, so couldn't see what's going on. But now it's still, yeah, installing. Okay, my laptop got crashed because of heat. It's been there for a long while. Okay, so we're almost close, but inch to complete the session. Okay, post to this what we have to do. Any guess? We installed pre requirements, then uh, we installed ADK, right? And the next step would be the SQL, which we uninstalled. Then we'll run the uh, CCM. Uh, yeah, so let's see, you know, for that, I think, you know, I need to copy uh, the media locally. So let me take the path. Where did I download it? That think it should be in my 17 or 2 yeah this one no which way okay my IDM should tell that where it is yeah this one so it's executable so somewhere here programs okay this one so I need to copy that file to my somewhere in uh, maybe a download section okay so to do that I'll just copy paste from here to there or the RDP and in the background looks like the SQL is installed if you see here SQL got installed successfully close okay so in meantime it is getting copied my media so the copying is almost done it's done so copy paste was done okay so let's extract the source to C drive it is getting to C drive and zip so the extraction is almost completed so if I go to my C drive okay this extraction should be doing to here so it's done close this go here as a first step we can run the splash file okay that should um, give you the interface so as as you know that normally you know you first download your uh, config MGR latest update files okay so in my case I'm just running that uh, to download to my favorite location C colon pre okay so this is where it's actually downloading around 57 plus or 50 plus 54 files okay uh, from internet okay this takes a while so once this is done uh, once this is done I would you know actually go for the setup or I can run the directly um, assessment of the server readiness so you know here you know I can check what is required what is not required okay or you know I can run just the pre-check command from this location so that it actually runs the um, the installation pre-requirements but the same thing so you can if you want to run it uh, directly from the instead of these commands and all those things you can run it from directly while doing the installation also it actually gives you what is missing what is not missing so in our case we go in that way instead of going for a command line based in a minute it gets download so the SQL Express edition also gets downloaded if you look at here which takes some time in fact so that's a file takes some time so almost the uh, download is completed now it is just verifying so let it verify and I can even run the setup in meantime so that I can you know fill the fill in the blanks that is my setup uh, pre requirements since it's a lab I can do in this way but in production you shouldn't be doing wait for it okay so the primary site and then uh, I'm trying for evolution copy not the and uh, the background it is completed the pre requirements 
so it's evolution copy right uh, in, in production if you have the license key and when when is it's going to be expired your um, software assurance program you can choose that year and the month next you should be accepting the license agreement these are the license agreement would you know come for the client or while installation of the sites okay so this is what I have downloaded now. So if you have if you want to download directly from internet one time you can do but I'll be doing again and again. That's why I first download it then showing that path. Okay. So Raj. Satish you there, right? Yeah. Pretty. Can't hear me. Yeah, very low. That's fine. Okay. So now the files gets you know validated. In fact, it got downloaded 54 files, but you know the required are 15 only now because this is based on the you know the, the uh, source media which is in English so it just required those files looks like okay so once this these are you know validated uh, mm -hmm. of course you know the log file you know that you know I did talk about the earlier the log file in the first session uh, this is the log file you know which is getting created if you want to you know view it what you can do is you will have a tool called CM trace okay. so run this okay. tool okay and check on the root of the drive setup okay so this is what it is currently doing okay mm -hmm. okay it's just verified that okay. file is it so now next uh, these are the languages for the uh, console in the client side so what is the site code you want to do it so this time I'm just giving us po one so I'm saying okay. that you know my uh, primary site for mm -hmm. any any region Okay, North America region okay okay and then if you have any of the CAS site okay where uh, CAS is here we discussed right okay. we were one yeah. so while installation mm -hmm. you simply you know point that CAS server name here so that this okay. PO one gets joined here join here yeah okay if okay. you're installing mm -hmm. the secondary site also similar way it will ask where is your primary site so you choose that of course you know in fact you know you can push it uh, directly from the console so okay. in our case, mm -hmm. this is sec, uh, standalone is enough. Okay, this is where you know it will check for the, your SQL connectivity. <clears throat> if mm -hmm. you leave this blank, that means MS SQL is your instance name. So we okay. chosen uh, SQL Server as uh, to install manual uh, without any instance name uh, change. Instance name change, I would say. So it's a default. Okay. So you can leave this blank. And then you know what is the site? Uh, what is the database you want to create? So this is a port should be allowed in firewall. So in our case, okay. the firewall itself disabled. Mm -hmm. So this is where it's getting the uh, database location. Now install. What is the uh, provider name? So if you remember the WMI class, okay. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the WMI is the uh, core, right? So mm -hmm. The, all the SCCM related components and other things would you know get installed under a provider provider is the backend is WMI okay, okay. so mm -hmm. this is what the provider okay so now, mm -hmm. now you can choose your method it should be mostly HTTP okay mm -hmm. and uh, this is something new okay uh, this is uh, called uh, <laughs> like uh, you see here you know this is a software as a service kind of thing now what what is happening is uh, we call it as a current branch right the latest version the reason yes. is it mm -hmm. gets you know every time updated with the uh, to align with the windows 10 updates okay it okay. gets updated okay. very frequently so uh, to okay. do that you know it required uh, to download uh, from microsoft mm -hmm. site so that's called okay. you know, a service location point we call it uh, scp okay. Okay, okay. So it's a location mm -hmm. point. Okay, that requires uh, internet connectivity. So in our case, in the okay. same mission, we are installing, in fact. Okay, and there is no okay. proxy. So now it says okay. that you know we know that SQL error. We get it uh, because uh, in in the memory. initial screen, yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. apart from that, there should not be any much issues. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you are getting anything, you know, we will resolve that. Sure. So let me go to services.msc. So MS SQL service, uh, which is SQL service, this one, okay. So it is running with some service account. Yeah, okay. So if you see here, 
Mm-hmm. It's running with yeah. some something else. So I would say you know these actually should run with local service account or local. with your own okay. with your own SQL uh, service account, which is okay. recommended way actually. Okay. So in our mm-hmm. case, I'm just you know running with the local all of these. I don't need to get this error. Customer experience okay. program also. So that's fine. The SQL reporting is that's fine. Okay. So. <clears throat> I can rerun this service restart. Mm-hmm. Okay. And this also restart the service. Okay. And okay. apart from that, the installation should tell us. Okay. Only accept this error. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Everything is fine. So here we yeah. have not added this machine to allow in my domain controller to publish the schema. Right. So we talked about that earlier uh, in the one of the installation so same server I'll go here hello yeah yeah hello yeah somebody do some other wise came so security okay you you should be creating this system management container from ADSI edit right ADSI edit dot msc if you go to your domain controller okay you should be choosing system system container new container okay. yeah so mm-hmm. in our case container and next okay. and call it as system system management management okay mm-hmm. so then click next okay and finish so that's what it creates so in our case we did created that in fact okay, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, in the uh, past class and then okay. We add here. Okay. okay, you know we can add here the first step, the local machine, which is yep. my object should be the computer. In fact, so I'm just looking for the computer. computer. So fine. So I get the same server same name. Same. Okay. So mm-hmm. I give you full permission for this, and then advance. Okay. I go advance, and mm-hmm. then I'll say that you know this object and the child object. I would be giving that permission. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, double click that. This is hello, oh, but there should be this and child objects. Click OK. Child objects. Okay. Apply. Mm-hmm. Okay. So okay. So that would you know give the permission. Post to that. Uh, you need to insert your SCM uh, software CD. Okay, and run okay. there's a file called schema extension file. Schema extension. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know that uh, the file right? So the file yeah, located yeah. in here. Pain because we did in the old version yeah, the yeah, same one, thing. Three, so this is a file you should be you know running on the server. Exactly. Okay. The example. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll just you know copy paste here and uh, I'll run this. Okay. As a admin. admin. So okay. So that would actually create a log file. Okay. In fact, we did that. So there would be two mm-hmm. times the log, same log. Okay. Okay. So it's already exists. It says that. Okay. Because earlier, if you run it, you get it like this. Okay. Uh, if it okay. is not uh, already existing, you know, it says that uh, we don't need to run second time just for okay. the demonstration purpose as shown. Okay. Post mm-hmm. to this, uh, post to this, what we'll be doing is if we'll go to a system server. Okay. We know that this is fixed. Uh, we know that this is fixed. SQL memory mm-hmm. and uses. So the maximum limit is. Um, 2 TB which is by default configured. So whatever mm-hmm. the RAM you give to your SQL server it goes up 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 till 2 TB. So yeah. that should be there should be a okay. limit of maybe 8 GB or 16 GB or maybe 64 GB uh, based on your mm-hmm. you know, configuration SQL configuration. Okay. That should be done. Okay, and this is the minimum okay. um, you know minimum it requires 4 GB to configure in our case nothing okay. was configured these two should be done in the uh, management studio in fact we don't have the management studio installed so I'll just say okay. rerun and ignore those because they are warnings warnings yeah okay but if I ignore that in future what happens is it actually uh, at least you know this this would you know affect me uh, it takes maximum limit of my memory and it eats my memory at the end you know when I'm performing some kind of activities memory already combined. Okay. okay. Okay, so I should actually fix. We'll fix it uh, in a minute mm-hmm. uh, with by installing the studio management. Studio management. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. 
So studio management, in fact, we downloaded here. If you remember the 800 MB, this is the one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but we can't install now because already MSI exec running, which is Windows mm -hmm. installer. So this okay. takes maybe a 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I would, you know, um, close for the session for today, maybe. Okay. Because everything okay. is there. Okay. So yeah. what we have done just to mm -hmm. conclude IS and that is nothing but your web server all and RDC right mm -hmm. yes. and the sql adk, hmm? SQL and ADK. Installing mm -hmm. this. okay right schema also extended yeah. so this would you know take maybe uh, 15 20 minutes after that is uh, microsoft recommends to you know leave the machine for 30 minutes to one hour without opening the console so that the background things would you know run automatically oh, okay 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 but no okay. it's lab at the end for us Okay, the log file is already you know showing here. This is a creating a new database site. We see here the database is cre creating. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's it for today. Um, I'll show you later. Okay. Okay. We'll catch you tomorrow. Okay, and then mm -hmm. we do the operating system deployment. Sure. Okay. 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 Yeah, or you know, maybe you know if you want, you know, if you want that class also today only, maybe you know we can join after uh, forty minutes or so. And actually, one more thing. So tomorrow, I think we are planning something. We are going out. So okay. Uh, is there 